I think I knew how to pronounce the word gouache before I knew how to spell it. I still kind of have to think about it if I'm ever typing it out. G-O-U-A-C-H-E. Gouache. <laughs> It's not gawake, it's not guache, it's not gauche, gouache. Let's break down the main differences between watercolor gouache and acrylic. Gouache is a paint that sits between watercolor and acrylic. It's a highly pigmented wet medium. It's usually water-based, or at least the way that I use it, but it also comes in an acrylic variety. Because of that, the nickname for it is opaque watercolor. There are a lot of benefits in using gouache over watercolor. Gouache paint dries quickly, which means you can easily add multiple layers. This helps for covering up mistakes, or making more complex paintings, or working outside. I think, especially among beginners, watercolor often overshadows gouache just because the barrier to entry is a little higher. You have to buy a lot of tubes of gouache to get going, at least your primary colors plus black and white, whereas if you're just starting out, you can easily buy a cheap watercolor palette and you have everything you need. Even though you need a little bit more to get started, those little tubes will last you a really long time and it's worth it in the end. Watercolor needs water added to it in order to be used and as a result, your painting will be more translucent. Gouache paint contains more pigment and as a result, will look brighter and more opaque when the same amount of water is added in. Like acrylic, gouache, you squeeze wet out of the tube and mix in as much water as you desire. But unlike acrylic, it's water-based, so it has a little bit of a flatter look Acrylic, because it's derived from plastics, tends to look a little glossier when it dries. Gouache dries with a velvety, slightly chalky finish, very matte, opaque, and highly pigmented. If you add in more water, though, you can make it look more like a loose watercolor painting. Let's take a look at what each of these paints look like. This first one is watercolor. As you can see, it's pretty translucent. The color isn't as bright. It's a little more subdued. The second one is gouache. It's still drying right now, so it looks kind of shiny in areas, but as you can see, it's more opaque, more uniform. There's some areas where I had a little bit more water in there that there's some variation in color, but otherwise it's pretty bright and matte. And then this last one is acrylic. I probably wouldn't want to use acrylic on this paper because it's a little thin, but you can see how it's a little globbier and drying a little bit shinier. Now that we have a solid understanding, let's dive into materials and supplies.